I fear the smith will not heed my plea. You believe he will if I prepare an elven dish? Which one? Nutriarch. Dwarves have a liking for it, they say? Are you certain? Nutriarb is not very tasty. Few elves enjoy it. It is a pungent stew of um, old fish and apples, boiled till it forms a, a, a thick paste. But I shall prepare it, if it has any chance of bringing me Grafentia. The Arbor Heart depends upon it. Would you be willing to gather the ingredients for me? You won't have to go far to find them. I thank you. I need only the two main ingredients. Rotten apples and rotten fish. Bring them to me, and I will prepare Nutriarb. Rotten fish and apples? My stomach lurches at the very thought. But I suppose we ought to procure them all the same. I suppose it is so. We're unlikely to find any warm hearth stone. We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. Understood. Those are like to use the dark against us. <clears throat> we must focus on finding victory, whatever our discomfort. went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. Do you have the ingredients? This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. My people dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriarb is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Everyone turns their noses from the smell. Hmm. Ugh. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it, let alone enjoy it. I fear the dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this, but I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we not use it now? The sooner we arrive, the better. Stay the same. 
Ihr Bag! And who's that you've got with you? An elf? I never met one of four. Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes. I have the Nutriarb with me. Marvellous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me. You put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this way. Shall we follow Sir Sara, Master? With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder before the day is done. Right, here we are. Oi, Brocker, you in here? What's all this racket? I thought I told you that... You imbecile! You brought an elf here, of all things! Get her out of here, now! Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift. For you. Bah! What makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this. And I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to do now? What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But... You'll have to be quick, mind. Brocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? See who can collect more of the stuff. Anyway, good luck. I'll be outside keeping watch. Best start searching. Brocker might be back any moment. It seems Sir Broker has a taste for the elven dish after all. Let us use this chance to gather ample scale cinder. Oxcarts aren't operating anymore, are they? It is perfectly understandable, albeit rather inconvenient. This is not the reward we would have asked for. Cast it aside would only make more points. is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? You've got so much. With this, the Arbor Heart will undoubtedly recover. For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart, um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. 
You and the blacksmith, Brocker. Not at all. It was my pleasure. I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Now the Arbor Heart is sure to recover. 